This is a speaking tube, one of the first forms of the telephone that is based on the transmission of sound through pipes, built by Antonio Mucci in 1835 at the La Pergola Theatre in Florence. In 1805, several speaking tubes were also mounted aboard the HMS Victory. Something similar has also been reported by the Beijing Journal in 1968, which covers the invention of the Chinese Kung Fu Wing. It was created using bamboo rods and is called the thumbsteen. According to Wikipedia, this method of communication was already in use in ancient Rome and even in ancient Greece. It is certainly plausible as the ancient Greeks knew how sound spread through the air and they were able to build theatres with great acoustics. The speaking tube is so practical that it is still in use on boats today. Its range is about 90 metres after which the sound is lost. The next evolution of this device is the mechanical acoustic telephone. You may have even built one as a child by using a rope and two paper cups. The bottom of the cup acts as a diaphragm, converting sound waves into vibrations that travel along the string, which the other cup then converts back into sound waves or words. British physicist Robert Hooke conducted numerous experiments with these devices. The first acoustic string phone is credited to him in 1667. This device found its greatest development in 1888 when the Paulson Telephone Company of Massachusetts designed and distributed its version to the railway companies covering an area of almost five kilometers. But it would soon be replaced by the evolving electric telephone, which despite any major improvements, has remained basically the same until the present day. The electrical telephone combined the audio transmission technology of acoustic mechanical devices with the long distance electrical data transmission of the telegraph. The introduction of electricity and communication has sensibly increased the phone's range until slowly eliminating any distance limit. With the telegraph first in 1837, and then with the electric telephone 40 years later. Whoever invented the electric telephone is a subject of a debate for historians. In 1871, Miyuchi couldn't pay $250 for an official patent and he deposited a patent caveat for $10. A patent caveat was only a notice of intention to file an official patent and it had to be renewed every year. But Miyuchi had no money and his notice expired three years later. Then, in 1871, in 1977, Alexander Bell presented a regular patent for the telephone. This led to years of legal battle, which favoured Bell first, but the appeal sentence was never concluded due to the high costs and because the patents were already expired anyway. Only in 2002, the United States Congress asked to recognize Miyutsi's life and facts in addition to his contribution to the invention of the telephone. Calling from a car became possible in 1946. However, it was extremely expensive and with only three available channels, you had to hope that no one else was already using it. The telephone had brought the whole world to our fingertips and the only limit was the wire which Motorola eliminated in 1983. The first cell phone, the Motorola Dyna TAC 8000X, weighed 1.5 kilograms with 20 minutes of battery life and costing $10,000 in today's money. Since then, cell phones have been constantly changing and evolving, having reached 5 billion users in 2017 worldwide, while the landlines keep declining. Today's smartphones have given people the tools to communicate with each other like never before, regardless of where they are in the world.